of the basement party, and we have hip hop royalty touched on. I was about to say that hip hop. Okay, hip hop royalty in the building. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. OMG. Hey. DMC of the ever famous Run DMC. How you doing? What's up, Daryl? I'm good. I'm good. Glad to be in a place to be. Oh Philly's my like my home away from home. We always love you. you know oh, for sure. Y'all that. was more New York than New York back exactly. in the day. Exactly. Y'all had, <laughs> y'all had the, the, the 24 hour hip hop club here. Remember, Remember after midnight? Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. Definitely. Y'all had all the styles of Adidas. It was crazy mm-hmm. over there. This is the city that got you your Adidas deal, remember? Oh, that? for sure, yeah. Y'all held yeah, them up and they held them up and they saw Adidas it. Adidas saw it. And Next thing you know, history. everything was stripes. Yeah, <laughs> me too. Yep. Oh, for real. For real, Three for stripes real. for life. Yeah. So, since, so since you're here, did you get a cheesesteak yet? No, I haven't had the cheesesteak yet. Oh, Not come yet. on. Not yet. Wait, 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 Yes, I'm an author. I, you I, I wrote, wrote a, a book. book. Yeah, I wrote a book. Ten ways not to, to commit suicide. Because we don't want people to commit suicide. No, wow. we don't. Yeah, and, and I, I wrote the book because. Yeah, tell them why. Because um, I know the story, so tell them. Yeah, why. yeah, I wrote the book because um, you know I struggled with depression, and substance abuse, and suicidal thoughts. But that being said, I wrote, I wrote the book because. I want people to know whatever it is that they're battling against, whatever it, whatever is, it is, you have the power to defeat and beat whatever it is. I know that's right. And, it, you know, it came about, from, the book came about for, from a simple reason, because for the last 10 years, Run has been on TV with his successful reality TV show. Yeah, mm-hmm. we all know. So mm-hmm. there was two questions of, that I would always get. Why you ain't on Run's house? And what's up with you? Right. And I would just politely ask, I would just pl- polite, politely answer, I just got out of rehab. I just got out of therapy. I found out at age 35 that I was adopted. I remember that reaction. I remember yeah. that reaction. Yeah. 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 People yes. would go, what? This and then they would start asking me questions. And when I would finish explaining to them what I was going through, they would go, well, could you come talk to my daughter? She's seven years old, and we just let her know that she was adopted. Yo, could you come talk to the foster kids? Yo, DMC, could you come talk to my dad? He's an alcoholic. He don't want to go to therapy. But do could you, you come know talk to your my mom? Your and your lessons have helped so many so people. Many That's people. the beauty well, of you sharing your story. Yeah, I didn't realize that. You know, that. no disrespect to Ron and Rev Ron and the, and, the, and the reality shows. I'm not a big fan of any of that. But right. what you did after uh-huh. that reality check and finding out where you really came from right. Um, right, right, and, right. And, and finding out that... Uh, you couldn't deal with certain things like yeah, when you yeah. went through losing your voice and yeah. it depressed you so much yeah. that you actually contemplated on taking your life. Yes, because I didn't. What you don't think understand, about it. What you don't understand right. is no one would imagine that DMC of right. Run DMC is it's depressed. depressed and like, what do you have suicide. to be depressed yeah. about? Right. That's You're Run DMC, said. dude. Exactly. Like, and they just don't understand. So that shows right. the common person, no matter right. what level of life they're living. What they're doing for a living, what everyone. What level of success? Yeah, no matter what level right. of success. Yeah, yeah. What we do you is still irrelevant. Have yes, exactly. exactly. And that 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 was the whole thing. Everybody was so focused on the mighty king of rock, but the mighty king of rock is a normal person, just like yes. all of you. Put on your I'm shoes one at a time, guest. just like everybody and else. What 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 happened to me? Once I went to therapy, I realized what happened to me. Um, when I first got into hip hop, hip hop was safe for me because remember. You know this. There was no album covers and videos in the beginning. Right. So right. I could make all we these records with Run and not be seen. Exactly. You know, I can't. It was just us in the studio. And exactly. We here, exactly. Right? And then you put right. the record out. It was the John 45 or the 33 with the with the logo yeah, of the I label. Played, I played y'all cassettes before we even yeah. got the press. Remember all of that? Yeah, so, I remember. Yeah. Yeah, we yeah, I'm I'm from the after the eight track era. Exactly. That? Yeah. But um what had happened was my creativity was coming. I was a kid, I went to Catholic school my whole life. Mm-hmm. I was a great student, by the way, always on the honor roll. But my whole inspiration for creativity came from comic books. Cause um, you know, back in the late seventies, all the educators were saying this. 
don't let the kids read comic books. They it need to read their textbooks. Exactly yeah, right. they need to read their textbooks and know, but they, they overlook the fact that because I was reading every day, I was reading comic books every day. Every day. So I was an excellent student. Mm -hmm. So comic books also taught me something about life, mm -hmm. especially Marvel comic books. Because um, Marvel comic books was had superheroes really in New York. Right. DC was cool. Batman is cool. Superman, Wonder Woman. But Gotham and Metropolis was fictional. Stan Lee had the superheroes running around New York City. So I'm learning about the city that I was living in. But at the same time, comic books taught me something about life. You define yourself with an adjective, and then you tell the world who you are. For instance, the amazing Spider-Man, the incredible Hulk, the mighty right, Thor. Right, so right, 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 right. I didn't know, being a good student, having an imagination and his creativity with these comic books was setting me up to dominate this hip-hop thing. Because right. when hip-hop came over the okay. bridge and Run saw, Run was like, yo, Daryl's smart. He got a lot of comic books. He got a good imagination. Yeah. And he could write some good rhymes. So when he, it was um, ninth grade, he looked at me after discovering my secret. He's mm -hmm. discovered this superpower that I have. It <laughs> was like, when Russell lets me make a record, because remember, Curtis Blow was I making was records. There. Jimmy I remember, Spice up. I remember, Houdini, y'all begging Russell, we want to do a record. Yeah, I, re I was that? there, I remember. So he was like, yo, when Russell lets me make this record, I'm putting you in my group. And it was cool for me because... We could create these records, and I was actually in St. John's, my first semester at St. John's, and Suckram C's came on in the lunchroom, and the whole lunchroom, 200 students jump up and go, yo, who are these guys who run DMC? These are the right best, there. and I'm sitting there now. You would think I would jump up and go, hey, that's me, me, me. I sat there, this is what I said. I sat there and watched this, and I said, that ain't going to last. Yeah, but look what happened. Look, look so what happened. I had and got how many away. Years later? Yeah, I know. <laughs> so Thirty some odd years later. So I got away from creating for the sake of creating. Mm -hmm. And what I did was, um, I I kind of fell into that. Yo, you need to you need a hit record. You need to have a radio right, song. You right, need right, right. people. I don't care what it is that you do. You don't need to do nothing in life <laughs> except do what makes you feel good. I now, you know what I'm saying? Too. I was just writing a rhyme. Put the beat on, let me write a rhyme. Don't tell me I need to write a rhyme for a specific, re specific reason. reason. But I, I, what, what, what got me depressed was I did it. Not know, I did it to please people mm -hmm. not knowing what it was doing to me. Exactly. And that's why I wrote the book. I want kids to know. A lot of parents, my book is an easy read. You know what I'm saying? It deals with my alcoholism and my depressed and my suicidal thoughts, but it's an easy read. I want kids not to be ashamed of, if you're a dude and you got to take ballet lessons, don't be ashamed of that. Exactly. That's gangster. If you're a ballet <laughs> dancer, you know what I'm saying? You, shoot, you get to hold Misty up and spin her on, your, on the stage at Carnegie Hall in Russia. Right, right. Yes. Guitar lessons, violin lessons, love piano lessons. Love what you love, do what you Yeah, want love, to do. right. It does, the, and exactly. I'm holding a comic book. Please yes. do this. That's issue number one of the DMC universe. And yeah. while you're here in Philadelphia, you're going to stop by the yeah, library. I'm going to the library to give it to the kids. For the holidays. Yes. And it's still that same, uh, I guess, confidence, we can say. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's just children. confidence in who you are. Exactly. You know how that's what hip-hop is about. It is. It's a, it's I like break this. I like DJ. Exactly. <laughs> you know, touch tone. He's a DJ. Hip-hop. Hip-hop didn't just create rappers. It exactly. created people such as yourself. It created On the radio. Journalists, style. writers, yes. designers, comic book creators, DJs, musicians. But it also created authors yes. and scientists. And astronauts. So I want kids, well, me, especially in this generation. I want to believe it created generation. a mentor in, in, inside me. That, oh, for that sure. Can, that can raise a generation and still trying to Oh, raise for sure. And it's still, it, it, it is still raising a generation. Sure, so a lot of kids mm -hmm. are discovering old school. I mean, I do a lot of interviews and kids come up to me, Mr. DMC, because I'm 52 now. I'm like, I get oh, yeah. the Miss B too. Yeah, I get you get it. it. Good. <laughs> Mr. DMC. Sometimes I want to lead a club when I hear the, yo, Miss B, you want to drink? Oh, yeah, exactly. I got to go, go home. Go home. <laughs> but, club. It's yeah. time to go. But a lot of kids is, um, you know, they don't have to do what we did back then. Right. But the information is key. Um, when I go speak, I speak at a lot of middle schools and high schools. There's not a generation gap between our generations. It's an information gap. The reason yeah, why, like yeah, it's Here's an information gap. It the is. reason why we were so powerful is because we were young dudes. We listened to the elders. Yeah. You got to understand, there's wisdom, knowledge, power, and direction in the elders. But you take that information, you put it into how you want to spit it. Think right. about it. We was 12 to 21 was the typical MC back then. Mm -hmm. We listening to the elders, so we take all this information, we put it on our records. So from 21 
to two years old, these young boys and girls were hearing all of this elder information. Right. So a kid that's nine years old hearing me at 18 spit that, when he or she is 12 years old, he or she is highly developed. There's not a dumbing down with this music. This exactly. It's all about the communication. Right. These kids nowadays can do what they do. I would never critique another person's creativity. You know right. what I'm saying? What they do is good. But I feel that what I've been doing for 35 years is better. See, that's the thing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I got to go I do that. They got to do that. And together we can rise. <laughs> Daryl Mack is in the building. Brother, thank you so thank much. You. First of all, from friend to friend, it's so thank good you. to see you. Thank you look so good. No, I feel, I feel good. I feel good. You, I'm you just having like you fun. You look like you feel good. And, and, I, and I, here, I love what you're doing, I promise man. you this. When you do your next old, shoot, old school show, I'll come and do a set for you. I'll bring my DJ. You DJ like, whoa, 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 whoa. Get that whoa, on whoa, tape again. Whoa. I'll bring my whoa. DJ Charlie Chan. I still you gonna tour. Come yeah, for runs me. a TV star. I still Billy, tour you heard this it. Event. This summer at the Dell, yes, God I willing, if we're all here. The King of Rock. The King will of Rock will concert. be in the building. Yes. Oh, my God. I got now, you. My life question. is complete now. I got you, lady. Here's, Here's the question. Now, how easy would it be to get run? Well, that's that's another that's story. A, that's another, <laughs> that's another story. You know that's exactly. where I'm But you know, maybe we could twist. You know, yeah. maybe twist his arm. Twist his arm. <laughs> right, right. Leg. Twist, look, <laughs> tw twist the cloth a little bit. Yeah, twist yeah, the cloth. Hit him with, with, with the Bible. Bible. You know yeah, yeah, yeah. Bible. Yeah. Pop yeah. Him one of these comic books yeah, yeah, or something. Yeah. We're gonna do right. something. The Bible says it's better to give to receive. Thanks for saying that, man. I hope we can make that a dream come true. Yeah, no problem. If not, it was such a pleasure to see you. It's good to see you, and I'll be back. I'll be back. man. Here you come back anytime. Open door policy. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Philly King rocks. Rock. Philly rocks. Daryl Mac. Oh my God! In the building. Yeah. Huh, now that's what you call a basement party moment right there. Touch. Mm -hmm. Life doesn't get any better. Sure enough, don't. Back to the party. <laughs>